Let's go to Zion Isaiah.14.30-32. King of Kings, let the poor lie on green meadows. The poor are both those who own nothing in this world. But this applies to all who are poor, poor, in themselves. If we are rich in ourselves and we mean by everything and even wise, then the Lord God does not let us lie on his green meadows. The Lord Jesus is the good shepherd for the poor and the needy. Psalms 23. The Lord is our shepherd he leaves us on green meadows to the waters of his rest he leads us. He strengthens us on our journey toward the land. Isaiah. 14.32. Zion. The mountain of God. The Lord our God has established Zion. Let's go up to Zion. There is a Zion on which lies a city, city. The city is located on the holy mountain of God. In that city no one enters unjustly. Therefore we are sanctified in our walk toward this city. In that we die away from some things every day. By Jesus Christ doing his work in us. When he finishes his work, he picks us up. You can say. We are in a death process all our earthly life, where we die more and more every day, that is what is said when we say Jesus's crucifixion. At the same time, we are dying more and more away from ourselves. What we used to think was so important is no longer important from us, we are made ready to leave either at Jesus's return or the death of the body. But at the same time we also have the life of the resurrection of Jesus Christ in us, so that it is not us but Jesus by the Spirit of God in us who lives instead of us. Therefore, we serve God as we are despite our imperfections, God uses us for various services, in the church, i.e. We are on duty 24 hours a day. Even when we are at home. Jesus serves God through the various members of his body. And we, like the people of God, are a people not several different tribes who each have their own church, congregation and so all the others who do not come to the same church do not think they are Christians. All who are driven by the Spirit of God are his children and have the same Lord Jesus Christ the Son of God. And we are all welcome to the city of Zion. We who are a people of God, in the faith of Jesus Christ, belong to this city. His work is we created in Jesus Christ. We belong to the city of Zion in Jesus Christ. Because he has paved the way for our heavenly city, town. Mount Zion. Zion's Dal. Zion is a region. Area that contains three places. Mountain. Town. And valley. Zion's by. While we are here on earth. Our path goes up the mountain, down the valley and through the city. We are like a light on a mountaintop, shining like light in the dark valley of the world because the river of Jesus Christ shines in us. In the valley it is not as bright as on the mountaintop. Yet we see because the light that is in us is stronger than the darkness in the valley that embraces us. The light of Jesus Christ shines in the darkness and the darkness is powerless over it. We go down into the deep valleys where no human can really go with ice without God the Lord by the Holy Spirit and the Lord Jesus. There in the deep valleys we experience that God is there and where we are in relation to God our Father, are we still sworn to Jesus. As it says in the book of Psalms 23 God the Lord in Shepherd. Even though I go through scary gorges often alone as a human being, I fear no harm because, you Lord are my shepherd.
You have your stick where you hammer it into the water one after the other so the water splits and I come over completely without drowning. Even when illness, weakness can hit my body. I do not fear the book of Isaiah chapter 53 anyway. After all, it was my illnesses, my weaknesses Jesus bore. My new body is without flaws, shortcomings, diseases, and weaknesses. I must see Jesus but I go to Zion while I am on the journey of life with God. Is that the path and life you have? In the city there is a lot more noise. People are shouting and screaming. Cars are making noise, etc. What else does a city contain? But then Jesus Christ is our peace and he himself the God of peace will go before us. It is the peace and joy we show to the people who are sent on our way. It is the salt we are in the city that they feel we have another spirit. In ourselves we are not light and salt. Only in Jesus and he in us are we all. Therefore. Are we in the city to win souls by virtue of Jesus who lives and shines through us? The city is where people are also on the internet today where people surf around in often ending loose lies and self-deception God has handed out his living water to all who receive it in faith. Unfortunately not as many receive as they should. They look at what is spoken and reached out but they do not put it in the mouth, down in the stomach which is the heart. They do not always allow the gospel of God to counsel deep down before they surf on, they glamorous reflection on the gospel. What me dos myself? Do we all know the quiet way of the cross to Zion with God by the Holy Ghost? When then the journey of our lives is over, we stay on the top of the mountain, we are moved up. We stay in Zion and enter our new Jerusalem. Jerusalem is located on the top of Mount Zion and there is Jerusalem you loved. Once we are there, we have no desire for the valley and the city. And we then rest after work. That is what we say from glory to glory. As you see it has nothing to do with the so-called glorious pathology which is preached in many places idag. As long as we are here on earth. Is the army of the Philistines after us in many ways. As hunted. However. We are protected by God our Lord and Master himself. He is in Jesus Christ our guardian, concealer and guardian. Guardian of guardians. A getaway. An unshakable rock that accompanies us. Just as when the Israelites were in the wilderness and the rock followed, so Jesus always follows us as his. He leads us in the right direction for the sake of his name. He leads us through the cities and through the valleys. Many Christians preach we must become very rich in a here world if we do so or if. But it is not the wealth Jesus preaches if we should take with us on our journey to Zion. Many Christians are poor many Christians have lost everything they owned in that world but they are rich in God, they radiate joy and peace much more than all the riches of the world. They are grateful for just a little bread is that how all the rich Christians are today? No. Many are dissatisfied with pretty much everything and want more and more we often see this at the mega churches presented today on the internet. They will not settle for manna but worse little kings on earth. Many were lured on the road to Zion. The decay is far greater than we see among Christians. But for God's little people in relation to the great and strong, we experience that, faithful and just, the Lord is our God. He leads his people home to Jerusalem in his triumphal procession. He leads his people all the way to the top of Zion and from there lifts us up to his home to our heavenly city. 
the New Jerusalem. When God is for us, who can be against us? Come let's go to Zion join in the journey with the people of God. Amen.